You think cause I'm pretty, I'm dumb, dumb See you my sweet light, Tom, Tom Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Bombay Freak here from BombayFreak.com and today I am just coming at you guys with uh, one of the first looks that I'm going to do for my Valentine's Day series. Um, this look is just more about like the lashes and the liner and the lips versus, you know, the eyes or anything. Um, and I just know that it's Valentine's Day. You know, when you think Valentine's Day, you think red. So, of course, the first video had to be red, but I I am going to have a softer video for all my ladies who do like, you know, softer looks. If you like this look, you know, um, keep watching, see how I did it. So here I am going in with Morphe's Spice and just a regular old blending brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm actually just putting this down as my transition color so that way I won't have any harsh lines and there will be a smooth transition from my lid to my crease area. Next, I am going in with Lucius from the Kat Von D palette, and I'm just deepening that crease up a little bit, making sure that it's visible. Next, I'm going in with Eye Spy from ColourPop, and I'm just going to use my fingers to put that all over my mobile lid. Next, I'm taking Wanderer from the Tartlet Matte Palette and I'm just putting that all over the lid to set that eye spy that we laid down. So now I'm going in with my Inglot 77 liner and I put the tape down because um, it's going to help you get a crisper line especially if your look is more about your liner since there's not so much going on with your lids. You want to have a really sharp line and sometimes that's hard to do freehand, especially for me because I'm not like big with liner. But that Inglot was not working out for me so I had to switch to the Kat Von D liner and Trooper and that did the trick. Next I'm going in with Solus and I'm just deepening the outer corner of my crease. I'm not going all the way in so don't take it all the way in but maybe the most halfway. So here I am, I'm gonna do it again on the um, second eye. The same thing that I did on the first, but it's just going to be a little bit faster because I did it slower on the first time around. Just in case you missed something, you'll be able to see it, but I literally only had about four steps in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to fast forward through this a little bit faster, but I'm doing it all over again. And make sure that you blend. If you think you're done blending, blend some more because this look is supposed to be seamless. Um, so yes, continue blending. I'm taking that tape off and I'm just going to touch up anything that needs to be touched up and move on to foundation. So now I'm going in with Becca's foundation in Sienna and Kat Von D's foundation in Deep 71 and that's just the perfect color for me. Um, so I'm going to mix those two and then I'm going to blend it in with the Beauty Blender. So because you're not doing so much on the rest of your face, you want your foundation application to look as flawless as possible. This is about probably what 10 seconds to 60 seconds in this video but it took about psh, I don't know maybe 10 minutes to blend all of this properly. And if you have any um, 
hyperpigmentation like me, you can always just go back and add foundation in the spots that, you know, it's a little bit harder to work with. You'll see me doing that in, um, right here, actually. And I always like to use the booty of my beauty blender to blend out the harsh lines and blend everything into my foundation. I use the pointy part to blend whatever lighter color it is and the, the booty part to blend it into the rest of my skin. So now I'm putting on a buttload of Sasha's <laughs> buttercup powder. Yeah, whoa, this is a lot. But I do end up blending it out. Um, yeah. So just use it sparingly. And I went and put on my lashes um, off camera, but I will talk about these lashes later on. And now I'm lining my lips with Night Moth. I kind of forgot to uh, take away my powder from Sasha, so now I'm blending it everything out. And yeah, I look a little bit light right now, but I'm going in with my MAC Mineraline Skin Finish in, I think it's Deepest Dark. So now I'm using Creeper from ColourPop. It's my new liquid ruby woo. Like I love this lipstick. And I'm just putting this all over my lip. From the first time that I set my eyes on you, baby I was stuck on you. Come on me, I'll cut for you Make my body call for you, all for you Went back inside my dream to search for you Looking like a dream yeah, come true Cause you make my dream come true Baby, I'll stand by you And just buffing it out, making sure that the lines are all crispy So now I'm adding a blush It's called Blunt from MAC And it's just to like deepen my um, contour a little bit. I didn't really contour but that's my version of contouring because I kind of already have that line. Now this is crazy. And I put it in the middle of my cupid's bow as well. So now I'm taking gold deposit from MAC and I'm using that to highlight my cheekbones. Girl, you know you're cute when you wink at yourself in the mirror. So now I'm taking Shax from the Kat Von D palette and I'm just going to run that over my lower lash line. I felt like it looked kind of naked. And I'm gonna go and highlight my cupid's bow and my nose so um I just wanted to come on and talk about these lashes these lashes are Ming lashes from dodolashes.com and these are the D119 lashes um, I usually don't really like wearing lashes just because my eyes are so hooded if I put anything up here like that's really super big it takes away from all the like shadow work I've done so um, yeah these are the lashes and I actually like them a lot um, I'm feeling these lashes they're only five bucks. They actually retail for 30, but right now they're five dollars a pair for any pair. Um, they're 100% mink lashes. Those run about 25 to 50 dollars. I've seen 50 dollar mink lashes before. To get these that are retailed at 30 for five dollars plus another five percent off when you use my code, uh, hello, it's a no brainer. Duh. Yeah, I'm gonna write the code somewhere in here, um, and you guys just go use it. And that's it, you get, you know, your lashes. And, I, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye. Gosh, you guys. Listen, I've been trying to, oh, God.